Hello there everybody, this is Siwap the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. So, last time, we went the other way to Future City from here, and I said last time that we'll be finding out what that meant by catching one is all up to chance. I'm looking at you. Every single last one of your species. So, anyway... Here we go into Le Safari Zone. For just $500, what? You can catch, you can play the Safari game. You, ha you can roam in the wide Safari. Blah, 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 blah. Would you like to play? Yes, I would. And you can only, you can only use a certain kind of Pokeball here, the Safari Ball. So, wish you the best of luck. All right. Here we are, folks, in the Safari Zone. Now, here's how the Safari Zone works. I'm just going to basically spend my time around here because it wastes no space, no steps at all. So here's how the Safari game works. You can throw, you can throw three types of things. You can throw the ball to see if you can get lucky. You can throw the bait to make Pokemon harder to catch, but less of a chance of running away. Or you can throw a rock in them, which makes Pokemon easier to catch, but they'll more likely run away. I am going to try my luck to at least, at the very least, try to capture as many of these things as I can off screen. Because, let me tell you, some of these Pokemon can get really, really, really hard to find all up in, all up in this. And, you know what, it will just make you appreciate what Gen 1 did with its broken catch system and everything. So, yeah. And I didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to throw a rock at it. Um, it's not really that common for Execute to just run away. Really. So, let's just throw a rock at it. Alright. So, it's angry now. So, it'll make it easier to catch, but more likely to run away. Or not. It can basically work the exact same way as it did before. And, of course, it ran. Obviously. But here's something that's actually pretty interesting here about this particular place. I'm going to temporarily uh, select my Super Rod for now. So, if you don't want to spend your hard-earned money trying to cat, trying to make a... Oh, fuck, you're Seeking! Alright, so this is the evolved form of Goldeen, Seeking. It is an internet meme of sorts, and that's basically it. Seek other than that though, seeking is not really anything too special. It's just a buffed up goldine. So yeah, and I managed to catch one without any problems. Well, too much of a problem actually. And this is where the emulator stuff can kinda sorta of kick in. If you're looking at like an extremely rare Pokemon per se, that's extremely rare to the Safari Zone. You can go ahead and save state and just do whatever. I promise you, I will be moving along. Don't you worry. <laughs> but I'm just trying to look for this Pokemon. Um, It's not really so much so that I want to catch this Pokemon to use them for my team. It's just that I want to show you that it's there. For your free catching leisure. If I can so very much find one. Damn it. Come on. Yeah, sometimes it'll be all finicky like that, the fishing mechanics. And there we go. Let's see what it is. It's another freaking Goldeen, obviously. Of course. Well, I'm not giving in until I find it. I don't care if I waste your people's time. And speak of the devil, and it shall appear. Dratini. This thing, if you don't want to spend your hard-earned coins at the game corner to purchase one... Well, you can certainly find one for free at the Safari Zone using a Super Rod only, but just a fair warning, it is very hard to catch. Because, well, basically how Safari Balls work is that they have the same catch rate as, as a Great Ball. So, that's a thing you'll want to be looking out for. Plus there's the fact that you can't use any sort of Pokemon to weaken anything in the Safari Zone. You only have yourself to deal with. By the way, I'm not counting out. The, I'm not cutting out these uh, random encounters because I I wanted to show you how, what 
what Pokemon you can find here. Well, if you want to catch them for full HP, look, f look no further than here. But there are items here that you can get, such as that Leaf Stone you can get for free. And this other thing. TM11, which is Sunny Day. That boosts the power of Fire-type moves. And it makes the move Solar Beam able to use in one turn, because Solar Beam is one of those two-turn moves. Where you charge it, and then it unleashes Hell. But, but there's that full restore. That will fully restore Pokemon up to full HP, plus cure the status ailments. Alright, so... I caught a Chansey! It makes it all worthwhile. Does it have a lucky egg? Then it's worthwhile. <laughs> Whew, I'm tired from all the fun. Sure you are. But anyway, um, it's on this area of the Safari Zone where you can actually find the Pokemon Kangaskhan. Which, again, is a good physical attacker. However, if you want to catch one, be prepared to look for hours. And by the way, this is where you, this is the place where you can find the arenas. Oh boy. And you know what to make matters worse? Do you want to know what makes this one of the most hellish experiences I'll ever have? My sixth teammate is only found in the Safari Zone. And it's one of those rare Pokemon that's only found in the Safari Zone. And it's in the next area. So I'm prepared to spend over about how many freaking hours trying to find this thing? Oh god, that's gonna be- wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the f hold everything, hold all the phones in the world. There's an item. I want it. I need it. I want it. And it is a Max Potion. Um, it's basically a full restore, except without the, uh, status healing type thing. And the Pokemon I'm looking for is on this area. Oh boy, I can't wait to look for this thing. But here's a common trick, though. Uh, if you just stand in place and tap the uh, directional buttons, um, it won't waste steps. So you can basically... Go look for a certain Pokemon here as far as you please. Or if I can find it. Oh wait, oh wait, what am I doing? Super repels are up. Wait. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might as well go for the one the one thing that is required from here first. Anyway, we got again a really good TM, that is Steel Wing. It can sometimes raise your defense. It's basically like a flying type metal claw. Or no, it's steel type. What the heck am I saying? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm not here to catch you because I don't want you. Despite the fact that I would like an executor to use one someday, but no, I don't want to. But anyway, over in this area at the tail end of the Safari Zone, you'll find yourself one gold teeth. Which is weird. And we get TM32, double team. And here in the safe house... Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the secret house! Although I made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won! And we get HMO3! That contains Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water with, by using it. And this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. However, we can't use it outside of battle yet. We need the badge from Future City Gym in order to get it. In order to use the Surf. But in turn, Fu Surf is an amazing water type move. It's very powerful, plus it has 15 PP, so it's very, very good for you to use. So all that jazz is very good indeed. But either way, I am prepared to spend over pretty much any sort of given hours whatsoever I can finding whatever Pokemon I'm looking for. And trust me when I say, it is in this area. So no need to worry about that. I'm basically doing a recording skip simply because, well... While we're doing- while we're taking care of this, I do want to talk about, well, the Safari Zone. A bit. So... You can basically find any sort of strong Pokémon here, such as not this guy. I do believe you can find Parasect here as well. This place does have a plethora of Pokémon that are usable here. 
such as, well, the Execute, like I said before. Um, I know I didn't mention this, but you can also find the, uh, this is a place where you can also find the Pokemon Scyther and Pinsir here, depending on your version. If you have Pokemon Fire Red, you'll be able to find Pinsir, or no, not Pinsir, Scyther, which is a very good Pokemon all on its own if you decide not to evolve it into Scizor. Scyther is a very fast and very physical Pokemon, per se, and it is extremely good. However, it can't learn Fly, so it sucks. <laughs> But still, it's a very good bug type on its own, and Pinsir, its counterpart, is no really sl is no slacker either. It is a bulky bug type, and it's good physically in terms of uh, attack and defense. So, if you really want to nap yourself a physical bug type, well, by all means, go ahead and get it. I was actually considering uh, Pinsir for my team at one point, but I didn't want but I didn't want it to be it to be so hard to raise, really. Well, to be fair, the Pokemon I want, the Pokemon I'm looking for is not really, is not really uh, that easier to raise, though, because it is a powerful Pokemon all on its own. But still, still, in fact, uh, this is getting really boring really fast. God, what is what is my life even? I'm just standing here being all like, Oh, I'm probably gonna find it, but no. But no, I I, 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 can't seem to find it. In the due time, and wow, I have 36 steps left. Holy crap. I guess... Stuff will happen. In due time. Ho, 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 ho. Anyway, I'm just walking in place here, just going all about... You know what, I should stop talking and just cut ahead to eventually, eventually, if I ever do so find it in turn, I'll probably find it sometime later, maybe not. Probably. I might just speed through this entire process if things go awry. Like, could I? Huh. But either way, I'm expected to be here for a while, so cutting ahead time. Okay! Now watch this thing run away. From me a lot. This is Tauros. This Pokemon is very, very good. It is not only physically strong, but it can also be pretty speedy too. So, this is actually one of the Pokemon I was considering for my Pokemon Crystal team, but I thought Miltank was the better Pokemon overall. So you know what, I feel like cheating for doing this, but I am freaking going to save state for the life of me. I am so sorry. I am so freaking sorry. I've been searching for this thing for about a few minutes time, but eventually now I am freaking doing this. Huh. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty much going to be that. It's going to pretty much be all that all over again, and I'm kind of sick of doing that. Isn't there, like, a quick load option at the save state? I don't think there is, but... Eh, I gotta go recycle all this crap. Yeah, at least I'm getting through it quickly unless stuff will happen. Ah. Uh, well, whatever the case, I might as well be able to do things. This is getting kind of boring, really. This is probably the most boring Safari Zone episode you'll ever see in your life. Let me actually try to throw a rock at this thing to see if I run away. Yeah! It'll freaking do that to ya. I wonder how Bandicam's catching this all, by the way. You probably can't see my mouse, but... Yeah. Probably can't see it. One. Two. Three. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Show that thing. I know I cheated, but I don't care. This Pokemon is rare. And that's saying a hell of a lot. Alright, so Tauros, the wild Pokemon. When it targets an enemy, it charges ferociously while whipping its body with its long tails. So, I'm pretty much naming this thing after some mystical whatever. And, it's, deri it's the derivation of the name Tauros, so Centaurus, I believe, is what it's called. If I'm wrong on this, then whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> but
But trust me when I say there was there was one Pokemon that is a whole lot worse. There is a Pokemon that is here in this area that is a whole lot worse to capture. And that Pokemon is a Chansey. Chansey are incredibly rare. Like, only a 1% chance of finding them, I think. And they aren't really too special without their evolved form Blissey. Without its evolved form Blitzy, Which is a fantastic physical special wall. However, there's one thing even worse about Chansey in this generation. What they added to Chansey in Gen 3, whenever you find them, or starting with Gen 2, is the fact that if you find Chansey, there is a chance you can find a lucky egg on it, which boosts experience gain by 1.5%. So, yeah. About that. I'm gonna have a hard time finding that thing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so let me just heal up my Pokemon at the Poke Center real quick because I want to do that. And let's go see what we can do about these gold teeth. Now that we have the gold teeth from the Safari dude, from the Safari Zone, we shouldn't have too much trouble putting them back into this guy. Alright, so we gave the gold teeth to the Warden. Thank you, Lassie. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face at the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. I'm so sorry to all those who are Scottish. HMO4. That contains strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. So, yeah, that is a pretty good move. And, because of that, we want to teach not only strength to Tauros, to Centaurus here, since it gains stab, and it's a pretty powerful physical attacker. And, also, we need to teach uh, Surf to Waterga. So, we'll be able to do that. Insert data into the brain of everything. And yeah, you're gonna have to watch that animation like over and over again when we're teaching moves to people. So, I really do want to keep Water Pulse simply because it does have the added effect of confusing. So, I'm forgetting Helping a Hand, even though it would be useful in double battles. So, we got Surf now. Very awesome indeed. So now we can move boulders when using Strength. So, yes, let's do that, and we get ourselves a rare candy. So that is pretty good. Let me actually check out uh, Centaurus's stats. Actually, I want to. I'm actually curious. Okay, Hardy Nature, so it's neutral. And yeah, look at that. Look at that attack, defense, and speed. That's actually pretty decent. So, do you want to know why I'm taking out uh, Tauros over to the front? Well, I know this is padding at this point, but I don't care. I don't care in the slightest, because I would like to show off what Taurus can, Tauros can do in battle. So, I'm going to fight this trainer, just to show you how powerful Tauros can be. Just to, dem just to demonstrate the waters of the Tauros. So... Like I said before, uh, Tauros is a powerful physical attacker. Plus, it has the Intimidate ability, which decrease, which cuts the attack strength by one stage. So, any sort of physical attackers will be in slight trouble because of that. And, yeah. It has no trouble taking out Pokemon like Oddish or anyone else in, like, one hit. So, yeah, no trouble at all. Except for Oddish, apparently, because it doesn't really do much crap to him. So, anyway, now we're going to keep on using Strength here. Yeah, Strength is a very powerful move as well. Like, the stuff that you can do with the HM moves, particularly Surf and Strength, is really good. Because it gets... because Toros gains that stat because of that. So, that is actually really, really good. Endeared, sirs, and ma'ams. And it's got Vine Whip. Okay. So... Let's use strength one more time. And there we go. 
Down goes the Yasmin. I was too impatient. You were indeed. You were indeed. So, that's basically the raw power of Toros at work. Trust me when I say it is very hard to find. However, it's all worth it. It's all worth it to get one, yourself one powerful physical use physical attacker. So, anyway. I still have the bike which Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do in between episodes. I am going to go ahead and go back to the Safari Zone and try to capture any sort of Pokemon to fill up the Pokedex with. That is including Pokemon you can get from fishing as well. Oh, and by the way, you can also fish You can also fish for Psyduck there as well. The Pokemon Psyduck there as well. By the way. So, I'm going to go back to the Safari Zone, try to catch any sort of Pokemon that I could possibly can. Even those rare ones, which will take me forever and a day. And I'm also going to be training off-screen. I'm going to get my Pokemon up to optimum levels, mainly uh, mid-level 30s. I'm going to try to get my Pokemon up to level 30, around level 35. So, yeah, I'm basically going to do that. And when I'm all ready, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, we're going inside the gym, the Fuchsia City Gym, where we're apparently going to be fighting ninjas for some reason. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.